Welcome back to the Six Hour Gods YouTube channel, and today we are continuing on with our Okami HD Let's Play series. And uh, the reason why we're here back in the uh, Fortune Teller's house is because I have no clue what we should be doing. There are a lot of people wandering around in the forest, and I just want to get a little bit of direction on who we should speak to, uh, so we're just not going around too blind. Uh, so let's talk to this lady and see what she has to say. I knew you'd come, White Wolf. You are troubled. Well then, if you have money, I'm ready. Interested? Whoa, Madame Fawn. Shit, we're not interested in that kind of stuff. And bestiality is, you know, a little bit illegal in these parts. Oh, you want to tell her fortune? Okay, that's fine. Maha, then let us listen to what the bones have to say, friend. Oh, it's coming to me. I can see it. On the shore of a pond, a young child requires guidance. Retrieve the key from the dark depths of the lake. Only that key can open the gates to the forbidden ruins. I can't tell you any more for now. You have to seek out clues yourself. Okay. Okay, so there's somebody up here. Let's talk to him. Or her. Oh, what's up, bro? You don't look like a child. Well, now there's something you don't see every day. A white wolf. You look just like that Shirinui. There used to be lots of animals here in Agata Forest, but they started to disappear when the number of monsters increased. Oh, listen to me. Now is hardly the time for that kind of chat. Hmm. I wonder what could have happened. I don't suppose you bumped into my son in the forest, did you? The Rye River was flooded during the storm the other day, you see. The bridge to Kusa Village was completely washed away. I asked my son to get to work on building a new bridge, but he's so busy with that dog of his that he just won't make a start. The dog my son's so smitten with is called Ume. I found him injured in the forest a long time ago. My son nursed him back to health, so he's a bit overprotective. He's become so soft that he has no sense of adventure now at all. But if a man lives in the forest, there are things he has to do. Now that's why I'm determined to get him to build a new bridge. I'm sure he can do it. I just have to trust him and be patient. Okay, so that's it for him. And then we have what looks to be a vendor here, which I don't think we really need to buy anything, really. So let's go back down this way. And scope out. Oh. What's up, bro? I'll be taking this. Battle tips. Oh, how funny. I don't think I've seen a white wolf before. What's your name? What? Come on, tell me your name. You may only be a wolf, but manners are manners. The name's Eason, and this furball here is Amaterasu. That's a bit of a mouthful. Let's go with Chalky, shall we? As for me, I'm the infamous Fang Trader. Yes, I am the Great Kiba. The Great Fang Trader Kiba. Now then, Chalky, you know about monster leftovers, right? You know, what you get when you defeat a monster? I'm talking about the Demon Fangs. Demon Fangs? All you need to do is tan those monsters' hides and they drop a demon fang just before they disappear. The aristocrats love to have them as a symbol of power. They'll pay any price you care to ask. So then, Chalky, got any of them on ya? <laughs> Naturally, I don't expect you to give them to me for free. I, the great Kiba, have collected treasures from all over Nipon. We can do a swap. Sure. I guess we don't have any. Well, we'll have to come back when we do have some and uh, make a nice trade because I think that's probably going to be a great deal. 
So let's pass through this gate and then head over to that other person there. We can see their face. Slash. Get off me, boy. it whoa drummer boy where you at about to play yikes that hurt this guy's got a lot of health it seems all right, trying to beat him up. I think I gotta jump when he does that, right? I just never know when these guys are gonna attack. There we go. That was good that time. Just need to, him to come up one more time, and he's toast. Easy peasy. We didn't get a very good time though, unfortunately. Let's see what we have restored here. We got like a giant chestnut looking thing. Uh, let's see if we can cut it. No, okay. So that's the... Prophet's house? Not the Prophet's house, the fortune teller's house. The Prophet is that weirdo guy. Oops. Guess I don't really need to be using that, but I kinda wanna just go over here and restore this little section first, and then we'll talk to the fisherman. Oh, there's a hut. So we're gonna feed these herbs to the little bunnies. Get paid. Four, really, that's it? Yeah, do me like that. Uh, so where'd that hut go? I thought I saw it here. Weird. Oh, there's also a crack. Love me some crack. Alright. Whoa. This is cool. But unfortunately, I don't think we have anything to offer, do we? Hmm. Hey, get a load of this statue's face. It's got the same blank expression as you. Yeah, you say that every time we see a statue. Try finding a new joke, bud. Um. Oh, here's the hut. I must have walked right by it. Oh, I'm stupid. Let's head on in. And there's nobody home. Roasted meat, though. That's nice. Roasted fish. Even better. Okay. Wonder who lives here. It's probably that hunter. Okay, now it's time to talk to the fisherman. We only cross in style. Oh, this is a little kid. Oh, poor Umi. I wonder if he's okay. Oh, hello there, doggy. You all alone too? I'm Kokari. Pleased to meet you. Boy of the forest, Kakari. What? This? This is my fishing pole. Actually, there's no fishing line or hook on it right now. But there's a reason for that. My dog Umi and I were exploring a secret place the other day. An ancient building known as... Tetsuta Ruins. 
We'd never been able to get into the ruins until we found a key deep in the forest. But when we went in, we heard a horrible roar from deep within. I didn't waste any time getting out of there. I locked the entrance to the ruins and hightailed it home. I thought Umi had followed me, but he was nowhere to be found. I bet he's trapped back in those ruins. He must be crying, all scared and alone. If you know where he is, then why don't you go rescue him? This is no time to be fishing. Yes, well, there's a reason for that, you see. On my way back home, from the ruins, I fell near the water's edge, and in went the key. I've tried my hardest to fish it back out, but I've lost all my line and hooks. All I have now is this pole. I've tried my hardest to fish out the key to the ruins, but I've lost all my line and hooks. All I have now is this pole. He's just saying the same things over and over again. Man, this kid is a crybaby. Give him a gold headbutt, Ami. Maybe that'll get him. That'll straighten him out. Ouch! Now cut that out. There's something I hate more than a crybaby. You're the one who left your dog in those dangerous ruins. So you gotta do whatever it takes to get the key and go help him. But, but, but. Listen here, kid. Fishing's all about attitude. Attitude. There's nothing you can't catch with the right attitude. Fish, babes, or whatever. It can all be yours. Go ahead. Act like you're having fun. We'll watch. Boy, this murky water sure gives me the creeps. People call it Deep Abyss because they can't see the bottom. That's not why these waters are famous. Legend has it a humongous fish swallowed the moon reflected on the surface of the water. No one knows the legend is true, but to this day, the moon never rises here in Agata Forest. Give the fairy tales a rest, will you kid? They're so gloomy. Think more positive. Have fun. Fun! Okay, Ami. Let's use the celestial brush of yours to help him out. There should be some fishing line on his pole, but there's not. We'll just make some by drawing a line from the pole to a fish. So draw a line connecting the fishing pole to the fish to get them to bite. Once you've hooked a fish, move the left stick in the opposite direction of the fish's movement. If you pull too hard, the power gauge will move to the red area and the life gauge will begin to deplete. Keep a close eye on the fish and don't overdo it. When you've pulled the fish close, a button will appear on the screen. Press that button to yank the fish out of the water. Use the power slash to finish off your catch. Keep fishing and you might get a chance to reel in a really gigantic fish. Okay, let's try this again. Caught crawfish. All right, let's line up with that guy. Reh. Oh, did I actually get a bite? Gobi. Oh damn, look at this. Gigantic beast of a creature. Let's try this again. Oh, did I actually get a bite? That thing is humongous. Slash. Caught giant salmon. Wow, that's a big one. Hmm? 
hey! The... That's the ruins key! It popped right out of the mouth of that big old fish! Now I can go save Umi over at the ruins! I'm gonna go all the way in this time! No running away for me now! Yoink! Hey! Give that back! <laughs> Good move, Ami. You can't have the kid getting hurt on your watch. Well, what are we waiting for? We got Lost Dog to find in Tetsuta Ruins. <laughs>